Hello friends. In the previous sessions of my image processing um, playlist, we have given the fundamentals that are very important, uh, where we discussed the types of images, what is a pixel, why do we need image processing, etc. That completes the chapter one in the playlist. But I wish to continue the chapter two after I discuss the interview questions that are pertaining to chapter one. So this session will discuss the interview questions from image processing, particularly whatever we have discussed in the chapter one. Let's see one by one. Define an image. Very simple. An image, it can be a digital or a still image. All of it is nothing but a binary representation of some visual information. The visual information can be a simple drawing, photograph pictures or recorded graphs, logos, etc. All these images have some information in it. That's it. An image is nothing but a binary representation of some visual information. This is what you need to remember. Define image processing. Image processing is a field which enables you to perform the operations on a particular image which will help either enhancing the image quality or to extract information from the image. Very simple. I am going to extract some information out of the image or I am going to improve the quality. That is it. And this image processing will need a lot of math involved in it. The output will get you maybe the features that are extracted out of the image or can increase the quality of the image to get you better visualization. <coughs> Why should someone process the image? This is a very important question that we need to understand. As I told you in the previous question itself, it will help the users in understanding the content and the context. For someone to understand the content and context, they will have to process the image. Very simple. And this is a very important question. Why do we need to do it? <coughs> Excuse me. What is a pixel and how is it important for an image? A pixel is a basic fundamental unit of any image. A pixel is nothing but a basic unit which multiple with which the image is formed. Multiple pixels come together to really form an image. That's how you need to understand. Or you can put it this way. A pixel is the smallest unit in a digital image and multiple pixels are aligned together to get you a pic an image. What are the types of images that you know? Binary, black and white, grayscale and color images. These are the four fundamental types of the images that you must know. Binary, black and white, grayscale, and color images. Are the black and white and grayscale the same type by content? Clarify. I mean, are the black and white and grayscale images the same type? No, both are different. Black and white images are composed only with black or white pixels, white content. But grayscale is a combination of different grades of black or white. This I have explained you earlier, it can be anywhere between 0 to 255, which is nothing but the shades of black or white. It can start with pure black and it can end with pure white. It would be in between also and that's called the grades, the shades. Multiple shades are there for a grayscale image, but black and white is purely black or white. How is binary image different from black and white image? It's a very important question. Binary image needs one bit storage space per pixel and the pixel would be either black or white but black and white image needs 8 bits per pixel for storage and black and white image will also be dense which means each pixel needs more storage space so obviously it would be dense but will render you better quality so binary image is 1 bit per pixel black and white image needs 8 bit per pixel please remember and do not forget this is an important question explain the way the color images are constructed. Very simple, yet it can be learned very effectively. Each pixel in the color image will be having some color information. This is very clear for us. And each pixel in the color image shall be composed of three channels, which is nothing but R, G, B. R is red, G is green, B is blue. And one should understand that each of these components or the channels would require 8 bit storage spaces. So 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 24 bit storage place is needed for each pixel. Hence, it is to be understood that RGB together constitute a pixel in the color image and they would require 24 bits for each pixel 
when it comes to color image. List of the storage requirements for all the image types. Binary, 1 bit per pixel. Black and white, 8 bits per pixel. Grayscale, 8 bits per pixel. Color, 24 bits per pixel, which is the combination of R, G and B together. Mention the application sectors for the image processing. Many, many really. Defense, agriculture, medicine, education, space science, industrial applications and many more. Thank you very much for following my content on the channel. I'll come back to you with the next set of learnings for image processing. It will be core image processing content that we are working on right now to bring you that. And I'll meet you soon with that. If you have any comments, suggestions, inputs, queries, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for your consistent support. Without which whatever I do will go meaningless. Thank you very much.